Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and this is another episode of a multi-part tutorial on Studio One 5. In this tutorial I show you how to use the time stretching function to change the tempo of your audio files or loops and I show you how to use the audio band feature to change the timing within a part of an audio loop. Have fun! I have here a song with a little beat that I made in the impact, sounds like this. Very simple. And I have here a loop that I downloaded from mutant.com. Uh, you can download this, the same loop if you want. Uh, simply go to mutant.com, search for the pink electro house beat and you can download it for free, like nearly everything on mutant.com. So, this beat is in 118 BPM. Our song is 125 BPM. So, how can we make it happen that the loop is working on our, in our song? Let's place it on a new track. And now we see, wow, it fits perfectly because our loop is exactly eight bars long, but it's ending exactly after nine bars, even if the tempo is much slower with 118 beat than 125. Why is that? Because Studio One version 5 works perfect and it understands that our loop is 118 BPM and it's changing the tempo so that it fits to our song. Sometimes this feature is not working and sometimes you don't want this. So let's dive in a little bit deeper to understand how the time stretching feature is working. To understand that, we have to open the inspector. You see here this little I, the second button here on top of our tracks. Uh, you also can open the inspector with F4 or by clicking on I to open the inspector. And now we see that the time stretch mode is on. If we don't want that, we go to don't follow. So what is happening now? Our beat has the original tempo of 118 BPM. So the eight bars are a little bit slower now. Normally they should end here, but in this case, they end a little bit later because our loop is slower. This is not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is this. It sounds like a nightmare because we have a different tempo. So to make the beat faster, working on the song, we have to go to time stretch. Tempo, not don't follow, it's time stretch and now it's perfect in time. We have different modes how the time stretching is working. You have to understand these modes are different algorithm and some works best for drums, some work best for vocals. So you have to find the right one and it's very easy. Drums is good for beats and drums like the name, the name says. Solo is good if you have things that play just one note per time, like a vocal, like a trumpet or a flute or a synthesizer. A sound is if you have more notes at the same time, like a guitar that is playing chords or like a choir. So if you have a solo vocal, go to solo. If you have a choir or a guitar, go to sound. If you have beats, go to drums. If you are not sure, just play around with them and listen which is the best result. There is another one called tape. In tape, uh, if you change the tempo, if you make it faster, it's getting higher. If you make the tempo slower, it's also going down some notes. So let's try this. And maybe you hear the difference. This was uh, the time stretch drums mode. And this is the tape mode. You hear this more clear if you have, for example, a sound that has a tonality like the Wurlitzer. 
if I go from tape to uh, sound, it's changing totally the tonality. Again, this is the original key. And this is the tape mode that is making the notes higher because the tempo is also faster. Sometimes you want that, then this is the right mode. In this case, I would go to drums on our beat because you do this for the whole track, right? It's not for the part, it's for the whole track. All right. So now the beat is perfect in time, but I have another beat for you. Uh, this beat is called Bad Drums. Let's listen to the Bad Drums. Let's listen. First of all, we have to use the time stretching feature to make the beast beat <laughs> the beast the beat faster. At the moment, it should be four bars. It's too slow, so it's too long. We have to end up exactly after four bars. Okay, so the tempo of the beat is slower. Where do we find the original tempo of the beat? Uh, we have here the inspector and the inspector is coming in three frames. The first th frame is all the features on the topic track. So everything that is happening here is for the whole track. Then you find the mixer and then you find here the third one that is for the part. Because my screen is too small, I have to click here where the mouse gets this special symbol and move up a little bit to see all the features of my uh, part inspector. And here I can set the original tempo. So first we have to go here on the track to time stretch. Not, no, drums is fine, drums is fine. Studio One. 5 was able to detect our original tempo, which is 105 beats per minute. And you see now it's perfectly 4 bars. But even if the tempo is perfect now, let's listen to it. Uh, it uh, the beat is not perfect in time. No, it's not because I was drunken when I played these drums. It's because I made this special beat for this tutorial that you understand how you can fix timing problems. All right. So we open the editor by clicking here on edit or by double clicking our part. Take care that the right part, in this case, our bad beat is selected. And the feature we want to use to change the timing of our drums is the audio band. All right. So we see here is already our main problem. This beat is too early. It should be exactly on the bar, on the two, but it is too early. Let's listen to this again. Yeah, and we hear it. It's a little bit too early or much too early. <laughs> okay, so um, the first thing we want to do is we want to click on audio band to open here the feature, the band marker feature. And then we have to analyze everything. If we are not able to analyze, just click in the lower part with the normal mouse. We have here the different mouse objects. So I click on the lower part and now I can analyze it. And now it was detecting all the beats here. And now we need this special mouse band tool. You also get this by clicking on seven. And now I can place this accent here on the two. Let's listen again. Perfect. I also can move it to another position and it's always snapping to the beats, in this case to the 16th. All right, this is a little bit too early. Let's fix this also. If you don't want it to snap it to your beat because you want to bring it to a position 
in between these two beats, just use the shift key with a shift key. You also can place it here. Okay, let's fix this. Let's fix this and this is a little bit too early. This is too early. Let's fix all the beats and bring them perfectly on the beat. Mm -hmm. All right, this is too late. Okay, this should work for now. So this is very perfect if you want to do it by your own. You can at every beat make a clear decision where you want to place it. But there's a much simpler way to do it that works automatically. Um, to remove the work we did on the speed, we go here to remove the band markers. Zack. So now we again have our original bad timing. Wonderful. And it's very easy here if you open the audio band you find action quantize and apply. So we click on apply and then it's automatically quantizing our beat and let's listen to the result. So most of the time the most useful is a combination of both features. First, I always try to use the quantize function and if the result is not what I want, then I start to work on my own and bring the beats to the position that makes me happy. Oh, I still have one more thing. If you like producing music like me, then you probably know the problem of finding good drum and percussion sounds. Those who came with the music program do not sound right and on all internet sites where you would get the really good stuff, you pay a fortune. On all? No, not really. There's a web page in whose development I'm involved. Mugent.com Mugent is written with M-U-G-E-N-T and it comes from Musically Intelligent. Mugent. You can find drum beats that sounds exactly like what you hear in the charts or in the big clubs in Ibiza, Miami or Berlin. The web page reminds a little bit of Google. You can just use the text search, get immediately results you can listen to and download for free, or you can use the menus with which you can narrow down the search. On Mugent you can find drum sounds to every genre, music loops, so complete beats, percussion single sounds and loops, cool bass riffs, funky brass and synth riffs, guitars and all sorts of sound effects from birds to cars, from the sound of the sea to helicopters. With me there is no more production where I didn't use the sounds from Mutant.com. Take a look, you will love it. My name is Thomas Foster, thanks for following, always stay creative. Cheers!